Okay, I wanted to do this video for everyone that's been following the Riley Brow tutorial about building an AI powered voice app. So for me, I'm using a Windows laptop and I got stuck at the eight minute mark and that's the part where you're trying to connect cursor with Replit. So the problem that I was faced with, it was this screen you couldn't establish a connection and I'm using a Windows so what happens is you would go to cursor I don't know if I can make it happen again but you go open S with SSH you click add new SSH host and you copy and paste uh, this connect manually you copy and paste that you press enter twice and it will ask you and it will, it will present with you the first a couple options click the first op option this is all mentioned out in Riley's video but then when you when it asks you what what what, uh, what kind of operating system you're using I click Windows we tried it again because it didn't work then I click Linux gave me the same problem it worked after I fixed it, but I'll show you how. So this is the main problem that I was getting. So I asked everyone in my community, I, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? And this took me like two days to try to figure this out. And I would say ChatGPT is your biggest friend because if you close remote, it will just close it completely. If you click retry, it will just reset the whole thing and retry it again. But if you click on more actions, and then you go to the terminal and you copy the whole entire uh, code. I was using perplexity, and I'll, I'll keep I'll share this doc in case you guys want to follow the instructions. And it gives you this. So this is what I did. I copied and pasted this whole entire thing, and then I wrote. Can you break this down and help me fix it in simple to understand steps? And it broke it down. And based on following this, I went to the PowerShell and I typed the following. And when it says username, this is one thing I got stuck with. You replace your username, the username with your Breplet username, and then you press enter and you check for any errors and I'm pretty sure I got an error there. So what I did, let's see what my other, yeah, I got this error. The percent H was unknown. So unknown key percent H. That was the problem I had. Then it says, thank you for running the output. Okay, so the error there. Okay, so the next thing you do is you go to uh, your Explorer and then you go to user slash user my user is chappy slash this document okay that's the folder name dot ssh okay and you, all you do is you simply copy and paste what the instruction says which sounds a bit weird because you don't know I, don't, I have no idea what what code is so you open notepad i've already got it open we'll see what happens and you're given this, okay? This is the correct configuration, all right? So what you're presented with, potentially, is that this home path, you wanna have percentage, capital H, capital O, M, E, P, A, T, H, with another percentage. So what I did, this is what it looks like. So I don't wanna change anything because I don't wanna mess this up because it's spent two days on it. But essentially, it was, at the at the end of the H, it was a percentage, and the H the H was capital. Okay, so essentially you just follow the instructions. Okay, so you, you replace percentage H with a small percentage H. Okay, and save it. I did that, and it still didn't work. So I asked. It, it came up with this log. Uh, blah, blah, blah. where is it? Uh, 
it told me to delete another percentage, which is what I did. Okay, so it, it prompted with me, with me with this log. I will show you on, a, on terminal if I can find it. If I can. Yes, so here it says unknown key percentage dash. So that's what it had here. Then it told me to look for any lines that contain percentage dash and delete it. So another thing I forgot to mention, there was a dash here as well. It was home path percentage dash. Deleted that. And then save and close. I then went back to Replit, copy that, follow the, the instructions of Riley's video, so copied that, and then went on to cursor, open with SSH, add new SSH hosts, and then just follow the instructions from Riley's video. It will ask you to connect, you connect, and that should fix it. I'll save the document for you guys to, if it's gonna help you, but essentially if you get stuck, I would highly recommend using ChatGPT and getting it to just to copy and paste the errors and it should it should just be a copy and paste job if you can grind through it all and it got me to this point here where, I'm, where now i can start recording and it's recording every single word that i'm doing which is really really cool because it took me two days to figure this out and i went through so many youtube videos and I had to, this was a completely separate issue I did not know how to fix. So let's see if it records. And now it's not recording. I have no idea what's going on here. Well, again, this is what you're going to get yourself into. So try fixing this again. All this is just learning. And keep it up because there's going to be another problem ahead and I wanted to record this just to show anyone that has a Windows and is facing that problem. There is a way to fix it. ChatGPT or Perplexity. I'm using Perplexity and you get past that part, which is really, really annoying because that was still the first part and I still got stuck. So hopefully this, this video helps you all and I'll see you in the next one.